آه، 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 سو توك ديال اليوم كما قال محمد سميتو دي سيرفيس دي سيستم ون و تو الصراحه ماشي نقصت ون ون درجه درنا واحد ليبيزود تاع جيكس بلا سميتو دي سيرفيس دي سيستم ون و ون اي جيس ذيس از ذا فولوين بارت نتاع نتاع التوك هذا السلايدز غادي نشريهم كيفاش خليت سام لينكس الى بغيتو تاسكي اوف لاين كويستشنز اللي ما قدرناش نجاوب عليهم لضيق الوقت في فصل البريزونتاس ان وذ ذا اور ذا وايلس بيجين تابل تاع الكونتنت تاع الحوايج اللي غنحاولوا نكوفريو اليوم في البريزنتيشن عندنا البارتي الاولى اللي هي التيرمينولوجي ان كونسيبت باش نهضروا على دي في سيستمز نهضروا على سم بارنز ولا سم كي وردز اللي كنستخدمهم بزاف في دي سيرفيت سيستمز ان جنرال نحاولوا نشرحوهم شنو كيعني ولا اش صالحين شنو البروبليم كيحاولوا يسولفيو امورها غنهضروا على ان اكزامبل اوف ماي فيفورت دي سيرفيت سيستمز جنرالي كيكونوا ستوريج سيستمز آه غير حاول نضرب على جي اف اس ان ذا انفورميشن غادي تكون فروم ذا بيبر اللي خرجت في 2003 اند على حساب الوقت ان مايت نوت بي ذا كيس ان احنا نشوفوا بيك تيبل اولثو اتس انتريستينغ ولكن نقدروا وي مايت نيد تو كات ات شورت على حساب على حساب الوقت اولت سو قبل ما نبدا البرزنتيشن بغيت نعطي سام هاوس كيبن رولز الناس اللي غتحاول يسولوا كويستشنز في الشات بليز اد كونتكست غتسولني دابا A question when I can have a slide choose or when job can have slide 40. I'm not gonna have like context that uh, shouldn't be just the book. So I try to attach context to the job. Next, we have to do any questions on my job. I take questions offline. So we'll miss one of the job on job. Try to be specific. Um, let's finish. Guess on the shnei of my hajj. I don't know. I'm going to keep depends on zero. So how it's really question. I couldn't job 30 seconds uh, or so. Um, otherwise, we can always you can always reach out with your question and we'll not offline. Um, head talk at a cam is a non-comprehensive overview. This is by far uh, is going to be wrong. So then how do you some uh, kind of like patterns or, or things? Well, I can have she like Regan on the issue see what we get out of the job. Or we have the same she can be done. Uh, and welcome, excuse my drawings. I have been learning a lot for the for the presentation, so I'll just come to the drawing. I just skip the rest of the touch, and of course, be nice and chat. Uh, okay, so let's start with the first kind of part of the talk: the what terminology and concepts. Oh, hello. Uh, so, can some more? Actually, how do you can some more? Like, I don't know, microservices. Uh, from that side, can so actually, how do you can some more? Because if yeah, a software component that you can find in most. Webs like popular websites, like who are load balancers. Um, mainly, had software components is not is not very complex. Uh, sort of um, conceptually, it's not very complex. Uh, it's a software component that can handle spreading traffic, or uh, mailing traffic across multiple servers. Um, it can handle and do like a bit of abstraction about the internal architecture. Like an a client, maybe the barrier and error. Billy, service that can have man do two instances. They can run with IP X or port Y, IP and other IP and other ports from that application. But then their service tell, and then and do three instances in that label for all, and do ten instances in that label for all. So they have IPs there on all ports there on the main. And as a client, I don't really care about this. Can have service. I see it as a as a one entry point. غن أعطيه هي غال غي يقولي ولا غن سات ار بي سي وغي يقولي ها ها ما ريكوست ها ما هي ريسبونس ديالك وذاك لو بانس يمكن لك تريد ريكوست and then spread it around إذا كانت نقد نقدرون فرقوا how can request stateless so all in all it gives a nice global view of the of the system strategies بس نقدرو بس نقدرو واحد لو بانس يخد يسبريد ذاك لود key varies بس نقدر تكونفيجوريهم like from stock Uh, ones we can engage with, like Round Robin, uh, the, the most popular, just try to build servers that can be half hand and then give them uh, the same amount of requests. I will know uh, this works well, and I can get the servers that effectively have hand. I can land with some more CPU and RAM for one server, with less than CPU and RAM for one server. The other had strategy that got overburdened with servers as well. Uh, so here you can have other strategies like least connection, uh, the least response time, and a lot of balance is super a little bit smart. Uh, it should keep extra information, make sure you have a little bit of traffic. We can do that. We can have a little balance here, and we can do like extra logic. 
لايك هو نيت يقدر يزيد لايك سام بروتكشن اوثنتيكيشن يقدر يدير ريت ليميتينغ يقدر يدير بزاف ديال الحوايج اند اول ان اسينشال لوكيشن وما نحتاجوش امبليمونت ذيس فيتشرز فور ذا اول اوف ذا سيستم لود بالانسر ماشي ضروري يكون واحد السيرفر اللي كيراني نقدروا هو سمول فاك كونسيبت اللي نقدروا نديروها هكا كيما نقدروا نديروها في الكلاينت سايد يعني لان سام اس دي كي ولا لايبرري اللي كتكونيكت مع واحد السيرفيس تقدر هي نيت تقدر تكون كدير لود بالانسينغ Like he yet on a thick client, he discovery he discovery all the servers, or who he internally he he tries to load balance and keeps track of who are alive, who are not alive. And this is nice. Like and like and a thick client, service dialog, who can offer him a service dialog. And next technology we go to load balancer is a single point of failure. And this is for the most part true. If I'm not sure, well, that old balancer like I'm going to go in and access the service. There, there is a single point of failure. But I can there are a lot of strategies that you can use, but to mitigate the fact and have single a point of failure. I leave that as an exercise to the reader. I want to talk about how does this how how is this done? Right. Um, storage systems. Um, we mainly use them like can can store like. تخيلوا معايا كاع ستور سيستمز از كي فاليو ستورز رايت نسهلوها ونقول ما عندناش داتا بيسز ما عندناش كومبلكس ريليشنال مودلز عندنا غير كي فاليو ستورز سو جينيرالي كتكون عندنا كي وعندنا وباغي نجيب واحد فاليو سو وي جيف ذا كلاينت كان اوف اسكس ذا ستور سيستم كيقول له هاك الكي وعطيني الفاليو يو عاد سينك تلقى ستور سيستم كي ستوري الداتا ديالو لكن باينري فورمات ان فلات فايلز بزاف تاع الفايلز بزاف تاع الكمبيوترز إذا um, بغي إذا الكلاينت هضر مع ذاك ستورج سيستم وذاك ستورج سيستم مشى ذا دام ثينغ لأنه مشى يقلب على كيفين كاين خاص كيف مشى يقلب في الفايل الأول ما يلقاهاش يقلب في الفايل الثاني ما يلقاهاش ثم بقينا عمرنا غنلقاو ذاك الكيف ستور ديال الفاليو ديالنا and the performance would suffer so هنا فين كيدخلوا الإنديسيز and they are like a nice uh, kind of way to uh, map from a key uh, to a location uh, so index إذا كنتو إذا كنا نقدروا نشوفوا هنا أوكي I get my pointer Could work now. So a key here, uh, a key one and a key two, came up in one location. One location basically would depend on a key store underlying storage. So it's mapping files and offsets. So it's mapping pages and offsets. Like I'm pushing in memory. Not even mentioned. Like in the index, had that. Here I'm showing the index and we're okay. Key one came from location L, location P zero, which means like page zero and at offset one. We're going to cram into the value. We're going to have exactly the value in game. So this is like faster to do reads. Uh, this is not always good. Because if you have any reads, can do writes. Now writes. Not so much. You should have a part of the set. You should have to have the index, which could be problematic. Because the writes are small, but in this case, it's a more precise. If I can have a system that is read heavy, like I can read a lot of multiple levels of magnitude, I can read a lot of things. An index is always nice to have. Uh, so. The, the takeaway is don't put indices in the way you want put indices in, um, and then uh, in paths that you have read heavy, right? Okay, so caches are a nice uh, abstraction. I think they're everywhere. Machine power of distributed systems. I can't put them like, uh, um, like within, within the same component, within the same application, within the same process. Um, but the main idea is that caches take away the One of the principles is the locality of reference principle, and the main idea is that the way you get access to the actually access to the system there, but will that that system is most likely to take it to access it later, and and the main idea is that if you find one, I don't know, like let's say you find one that with the homepage there, but you find one that is also here, one the static file or JavaScript library. Another in another page, most likely I'm using the same library out there. Um, so it's nice if I keep it like in a cache in RAM, which I didn't survey heavily. And the concept of cache, you might get to do different aspects. Uh, you can find it in web servers, distributed systems, um, like micro components. Well, even at the hardware level, uh, even at hardware, we have L1, L2, L3 caches, even registers can be seen as caches. Uh, operating systems make it push Nissan, Nissan like the disk. They keep like internal buffers, but keep your data to, to write uh, through um, because maybe that's uh, you can be seen as a write through cache. But the the concept is bigger than the standalone like library for caching and the Jeep that the server and caching the uh, Okay, and then again like. 
كاشيفيكشن از حاجه واحده اخرى عاوتاني من اصعب المشاكل اللي كاينين في الكمبيوتر ساينس كاين بزاف ديال الاستراتيجيز حتى وحده ما حسن الاخرى جينيرالي كنخدموا الوحده اللي غتخدم ذاك اليوز كيس او ذاك الابلكيشن ديالنا And caches work uh, in a very sim- simple way, like just a client asks, قبل ما نديرو like a computation heavy, شي حاجة اللي هي compute heavy, شي حاجة اللي هي storage heavy, كان مشيو عند الكاش هو الأول كان يقولو له please give us the key, like give us the, give us, okay so this is a bug, uh, so give us the key, um, and إلى القاه كير كير دون النشان, if it can find it, ديك الساعة غتمشي دير the actual computation and the actual storage Uh, heavy operation and then فاش غنجيبوها the client could write it back ولا we could write through it ولا الكاش اللي يمشي يجيبها ويعاود يكتبها في الكاش ولا فهمنا there are a bunch of strategies on how you can do this and usually you can find like some a background thread ولا background process اللي كيدخل داك الكاش كيحاول يفكت الانتريز ويابلاي وحده من هاد الكاش ايفكشن strategies all right so now كتسمعوا بزاف leader follower scheme ولا uh, master slave scheme Uh, or others, much that has me as carried against me real. But this is basically an Elena or ideal servers. We can apply some uh, operation on the servers. We can uh, have, have operation here, and then coordinate uh, like the way it's going to be done. For example, if we want to install something or do a transaction, Uh, we need to make sure that the data can have guest servers. And then at the second phase, we'll send you the To actually commit the data, so we can do that. She like from the client to reconnect the servers and then do this. Um, but the the nicer way to do this is that you have a leader, which is a server. How do you get text servers? The human servers get who will have text server who is in fact a leader. Who will give the command issue? Who will give us a key with text servers? Please do this. Please do that. Uh, are you done? Uh, what's the status of this operation? And he can make the smart decisions. He uh, can do a holistic view, and I got a system where I got servers beginning. So he can make uh, assumptions like this is alive, this can do operations, this is stacked, um, this have enough, this has enough CPU and RAM, this doesn't have enough CPU and RAM, this is have enough storage. So he has a different type of information to get the whole service, and it can make some smart decisions. Uh, they can make the the service work better, and leave the client like thin. هاد لوجيك هذا من الزون حطو في الكلاين ارت ناو هاك بيتس ام وما هو لك لايك ار سبيشال مسجز ا بيسيكلي ان ا ديستريبيوتد سيستمز عندك بزاف تاع السيرفرز ام لي كل واحد فيهم يقدر يكون في ديفرنت ستيت ام اند بغينا نعرفوا لايك وي هاف ا ماستر وي هاف ا لوت بالانس ولا وي هاف سام سنترال بوينت اوف اكسس اللي حنا اس ا كلاينت غنهضروا معاها Uh, we want to know. I have a master. I have some information. I have uh, had servers had. So this server is going to report um, periodically, like every second. You could say, okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Had servers say, "Oh my God, we didn't lose the data." Um, and had liveness or uh, health messages could make sure we have a master. Had that don't treat. Had you can't have had. Like train had them to judge. Had them to say for master. The master would know. But he had them a fish. Had is not answering. It's not alive. So if I can write data, if I can write to data, it shouldn't take this into consideration. I shouldn't be writing data here. If I can have them to judge. If I can write out some data, we can agree here. We should make some ta- some kind of mitigation. Uh, if this is like unavailable, my natural replica, we can like page someone uh, and we'll uh, um, like. Make sure really we spot we spin up another instance of this one because this is not, is not responding. Ula hada is not working, um, and the special messages could report like state uh, the server as well. Um, apart from and then we can use simple messages that can hand like hand off like actual data. Like then we'll look at this is the amount of CPU RAM. This is the available resources to me as a server. Well, now the master can take the resources and can and can take can do the smart decision of like handing off. Tasks to the appropriate servers. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. So, a lease uh, is something that you might hear. Uh, it's a it's a way to protect against split brain distributed systems. Um, like say, I know the server. We bring a bring a right to access some resources. Let you change some resources. And I know they're not like right. And at some point, we Got disconnected, and we said oh, maybe this is not alive anymore. 
So let's spin up another one. Uh, so and demo and demo one. We're going to do the same operation, and it's going to do the same write uh, again. Now, had actually splitting array because of a network split whatsoever, he can still do the same operation. Uh, so we have two things who have the same access, exclusive access, and and this is bad because like it can make the system be in an unexpected state. So you can do have like for that server, you can have a lease, which is like a, you can think of it as a lock, and that lock we can say, please hold the lock for this amount, please. And we can only give one lease, one specific lease to one um, server. Next server, which can have another lease, as long as its lease is valid, it can do whatever it likes. If if one lease the other is going to be expired, it can either renew it or it can, it can die. Uh, so anyway, like it can check fail. Uh, I'll learn how to renew it. If I can, if I can enter a partition. In that case, that's how will he uh, how will server how will he check in the renew release dialog, and it uh, it's not gonna work. He can't reach to the authority that to the, the release, so it's gonna check fail. For the for the duration of release, the authority that how to create a new instance more or less expire. Who he let out? I have the actual uh, list again, and how did he let perform an operation? So this kind of guaranteed that it always there is always progress. Um, and resource access is always bounded. So my partition not actually has a, and then I, my system deadlocks because of a network partition. So this is quite tricky to kind of explain in concrete terms, but yeah, this is what a lease actually means. Right, so now let's talk about checksums. Um, so in a storage systems, or basically in any system, uh, disks with networks. Uh, but she is good data, like packets since that data they are not in a uh, in a way that keeps the data the data integrity. So which what that means is that if I send a write request um, and that that write request can could be could be corrupted either in traffic like uh, in data center data center I sent a write request my traffic can get corrupted somehow we don't know how but. Um, since this is the network got corrupted, got dropped, we don't really care. Um, so we took the actual data. Um, uh, a disk. Now, if we have no way of doing a check to see if the data is corrupted, this data is actually corrupted. So checksum is going to help with this. So we, we take whatever data we have and then we Run it through a hash function. Usually, it's a CRC or an MD5 kind of variant. Um, and then, because I now have the hash function, I had the hash function that an integer, and that integer represents like this data. And we can just check the CRC. We can check the CRC. Uh, if the CRC is different than the actual computed CRC of the data, that means the data was corrupted. It could be the data is not corrupted, but this machine is actually corrupted. The disk, uh, physical disk, is actually corrupted. So, but the important thing is that we need to plus can can check blindly this and can 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 set all can over the wire over the the, the, the hardware. As and can can do an arrow will this data is corrupted, and we should have some way of either have like corrective codes, uh, other mitigation strategies, but in can can do resolve the mitigation. All right, um, and walls are an abbreviation of our write ahead, write ahead logs, um, and these are kind of little files uh, that are append only. Fact you have clients uh, like it writes something to the to the master. It said like change your state. Uh, change your state could be write data, delete data, uh, update metadata. This she has a master. Ada wa da propagate hal she blasa fara could be re huwa fara sunis. It can happen that in the Akina had user, we act that we received it, but we crashed. And as we crashed for, let's say, just a power failure. The um, master actually sharing of the data center. So a nice thing to do is uh, have an actual write ahead log. And this log is can be for a client operation, they get there's some mutation. Can describe you that like, uh, operation and can uh, we add it and we append it to the, this write ahead log. 
And then once it's appended, we flush it. And once we know that the flush succeeded, we can reply to the client and say, hey, we, uh, we can act now your operation. If have a master had a crash, we it can always like when it when it boot up again, نقدرون قرأوا هذا الورك هذا الوال هذا ون reapply all those operations بس نرجع الستاتيك إنه فيها كل crash, right? Uh, so this is nice uh, and it's append only because like it append only uh, to pause it's uh, almost always faster. Okay, so last term I guess is consistent hashing, which is like a very popular term. Um, I guess every database Distributed database, like distributed storage engine, uses some form of consistent hashing. Um, so there is a difference between sharding and replication. Sharding, the man of the Alaha, Mohammed Lisa Bishan. Can't we go to Arhaul to stamp the data sector? Ah, like a cat slug. Asma. So, okay. So, and that's sharding and the replication. Sharding, who can tell you. نزود الداتا ديالنا وكنقسموها تو سمولر بارتس وهاد سمولر بارتس هادو كنديروهم في ماشينز باش باش بحال دابا بلاصه ما تكون عندي الا كانت عندي ماشين فيها 1 جيجا ديال الديسك دور وعندي 10 جيجا ديال الداتا ما نقدرش نستوريها في ماشين وحده ولكن الا عندي 20 ماشين اي شير اللي كنستور هاد 10 جيجا ديال الداتا الابلكيشن هي واحد الاستراتيجيه اللي كنديروها باش كنخليهم لايك دونت بوت اول يور ايكس ان وان باسكيت سو كنهزو الداتا ديالنا وكنفرقوها على بزاف ديال الماشين باش الا مشات وحده كنلقى الداتا في بلاصه اخرى Again, this should happen with a lot of bookkeeping. So we know where data is kept and how we can get it. And the big question that you have is, where in the node in that server is the area? Do I have to let on? There is a small, not so obvious trick. Actually, it's very obvious. He and like and there are other servers. And how should that let's say I'm having a key value store. And I take the key and hash it and create one value and then I do a mod number of servers in it. And it's actually one ID. Well, ID is a map based server that can execute data there. This all works until we bring in more servers. If we bring in more machines, we can add more balance and add hash it, more hash it the keys there. Because the modular function here doesn't work pretty well in a way to add zip or to close machine. Right. And can be my most into hotspots. Like it's time I had 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 assumption here. We got the machines in hand, and got the keys are uniformly distributed. يعني إلا درت هاد الهاش هاد وهاد الهاش هاد is uniformly distributed. Keep it for some zero zero cut. Like the probability that no يعطيني واحد هنا يا is one over four. For example, for example, it's not always the case. But observe, I'll observe. For example, keep it zero. And then maybe the problem here hash function. We can look at the here data, but it's not easy. Because when we take four, at some point, the last one is going to come. We're going to get back to the server. And this is another problem. So consistent hashing. Plus, we can plus we can have the data here, we can have the servers here, we can have the servers like in a range logically. So get servers, so we know get servers. The other one, and all servers are responsible for one key range. So we're going to have the key space here, the area. We're going to have the four. وقلت بلي السيرفر الاول يكون مسؤول على زيرو زيرو 24 والثاني من خمسه حتى 49 والثالث حتى هو اند ذن غندير نفس غندير نفس الستوري اللي درت قبيله غندير ناخذ الهاش غندير موديول 100 وغندير 47 ولكن هذه المره هذه غنمشي غنقول اه هاد 47 جات هنا بريتو جات هنا سو هاد النود هذا هو فين نكتب الداتا حيت هذا هو اللي كيكون بري هاد البريج هنا ناو الا زدنا انذر نود هنايا وي هاف انذر نود اللي تزاد لنا الكلاستر All we have to do is had the movie data in the blocks that we can cover in this this range. So the data that we can store here, we can see the blocks here. Then I'll just use them to have the server here, which is always nice. Like I said, reducing the number of things like like I call it. The problem of hotspots, I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to try to find how to solve this. I can try to paper into Dynamo, the Amazon. It's 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 a very nice key value store. We can have consistent hashing and virtual nodes in a way that kind of mitigates the the fact that we have no hotspots in data. We don't have a machine for only distributed. I'm gonna leave the paper slide to Andreas. Okay, so let's talk to some real world examples. I'll try to do it on GFS, and I don't think we're gonna talk about big data. 
Okay, so GFS is uh, the Google file system. As it was designed by Google, uh, all products published, published of, of um, SOSP uh, conference, 2003. Uh, the paper actually didn't. I didn't get any new data. I didn't get any paper. I didn't get any new data. But I didn't get any new data for the most renowned conference like when it comes to distributed system research. Hence, this is actually real world. I didn't get the theory. Uh, Google implemented a tool for its own crawlers, logs, web indexing, and it's actually storing terabytes of data. So this was actually working. I didn't get any It actually worked and inspired more designs in the near future. Um, constraints like when it comes to design in GFS, uh, mainly scalability because you actually scaling uh, at Google scale. When uh, throughput and sequential when when like uh, you high throughput, when you can have big sequential writes and reads, uh, when you optimize you for large data sets, but the not going bytes from uh, from files. We are usually like chunks, the around 16, near 16, like in megabytes. Right? And we want you to be fault tolerant. You know, if you have a server or two, it doesn't really matter. You can reconstruct your data. Okay, so the API says it's a file system, if you would expect, and they could under the API of a file system. Uh, features the uh, event of Rayo was create uh, open by three close. We have a system, um, uh, file system. Uh, have an API heavy in a in a linked library. You can link you how uh, build type and can can create and create and create will do the actual magic. Uh, and right. So GFS is built uh, at a cluster level. Any a cluster is a logical kind of grouping to have a bunch of machines. Uh, and uh, GFS defined the attack cluster scope. So all cluster keep on uh, a master, which is like a node. The responsibility of we keep the metadata on the files or folders. We handle like get uh, interactions. We had servers. At servers, we have chunk servers. We have to keep actually keep the actual data. Uh, so we have to keep multiple machines. We have a chunk server keeps track of a bunch of chunks. We have a chunk here and a fixed size of 64 megabytes. Uh, and writes and reads came to the actual binary ch uh, chunks. So clients fetch metadata uh, either via write, read, or master, and then read and write to the chunk server. So chunks, um, so master key keep it track with complete metadata. So if you have two files that we created, uh, home f one.txt wallpaper.png, so the, the text file is defined in two chunks, chunk one and chunk two, right? And chunk one can go to be like enough chunk server one, two, three, and that three replicas by default. Uh, and chunk two, three, and the three replicas uh, had the uh, same thing. We have that's it, chunks, chunks four, chunk five, chunk six, and kula chunk out any kind of a chunk server. And chunk servers themselves, and now we have to talk about, and then kula one keeps track of a number of chunks. So had a few chunk one, two, four, and five. So in addition to had that, we can still like recover one, or we can still recover five, right? Uh, so master can only handle some metadata. Uh, metadata like can only two types, like non-volatile, which is like the hierarchy into into directory, um, and can only have chunks to find one. Had to can only non-volatile storage. If you can keep for one. A persistent storage, but in the crash of master, we can still recover them. Uh, replicas and chunks uh, can store them just in memory. We can reconstruct it, but in boot your master, and so you get the actual chunk servers. We can tell them if you want to know the chunks that you have, and they can reconstruct the chunk of the camera. So in the crash of master, uh, during an operation, it's bad, but the, the nice thing, okay, you can write a head log later. So, how do you keep the other operations that can mutate to your metadata? Okay, so you don't like write a head log and um, uh, write a head log. And first, you can write a head log and you can write a head log later. Right, so a read operation um, is pretty simple. Um, so, the client takes Kimshin and Kimshin gives a chunk ID. Uh, can go to get a chunks thinking in um, thinking the, the file from the master, the master can get a chunk info, and then we do a reads 
to the, the actual chunk servers, and the chunk servers give, give us the data. Uh, write operations, uh, in fact, can can have them all master can do nothing against file metadata. Cardo cared no other can find metadata, and the kids can feel her coach, 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 normal primary and secondary uh, chunk servers. So can do that in two phase. So the first phase can set up the actual data. So client kids connect on our chunk server, okay, will you please send this data to the primary or uh, secondaries? Okay, I was a call by the HMT, I can end them guard data. Take it, okay, what can mean? How do we do the actual write to make sure that the write is actually persistent? Uh, DFS kind of offers integrity and, and lazy garbage collection. Uh, so, if you corrupt data, you can use it via checksums. And we can have lazy uh, garbage collection um, to allow for recovery and storage reclamation. All right, so this is all for DFS. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the big table. I'll show you a slide for the big table. Uh, and there are some interesting reads. I'm going to show you the data. Uh, some papers are actually linked to the Numeria Spanner, DynamoDB, and Memcache, Rafi Paxos, have uh, actually distributed systems to 201, uh, inshallah. And thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them here. We'll offline. Shukran, Mehdi. Shalti, the comment section. Oh. That's not true. No. Uh, little bit, but uh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Pattern matching and uh, the actual URL, okay, okay, forwarding. Uh, and then you can have like smart ones like it's implemented home in Thailand. They could do it to break and test branch from logic liability who may determine you know, human show me a kid. You're out to us. Lee, out any load balancer, less less of SK load balancing, like a traffic web, or a bus donor, or a ducky, or a random specific type. Okay, two men holding the moon, so for case, case you can. In the comments, Pluto, Monsieur the question. Okay, the question now. Yeah. Is GFS the master is elected? If yes, how? Oh, uh, so yes, the master. Uh, surprisingly, in GFS, master is not elected. Uh, so at cluster, hey, GFS is essential to any operation for the cluster. If we can 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 create like can, can we have new machines and see and see what the cluster why and create we have new GFS instance we can believe really, this machine is dedicated to have the master, but we have always the making and now like shadow masters. they don't serve rights, but they can monitor you. Can replicate or log the 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 master. We can monitor the master. If it's the master, they can still serve reads. And in the same uh, log and in the same order of operations. But no, the master is not elected. Okay, so for can ask a question. Can I comment? The majority of the people who ask the question of the balance of the Kenya, who ask the question 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 of وقيل بغي يشري من عندك المكانة. وش كنتي بغيت فيها؟ مرحبا. مرحبا. اوكي. 